Hi everyone, Ainsley here from Small Fry Creations and this week I'm going to show you how you can make a hexagon indoor planter. Let me show you how I did it. I cannot get enough of indoor plants at the moment so today we're going to make yet another indoor planter. I've picked up these pots from Ikea, they're currently in terracotta or natural. I'm going to paint these a white or a grey, something like that. And then we're going to make three hexagons and they're going to get stacked on top of each other. Our first step is to go and cut our plywood to width on the table saw and then we use the miter saw to cut all of the angles and get everything glued up. So without further ado, let's get cutting. My first task was to cut all the plywood into strips. I set my table saw to 200mm and started cutting. Once I had all my strips, I could then move to the miter saw and cut all of the pieces I needed. I moved my miter saw to a 30 degree bevel and put a stop block at 200mm. At this point you can make the pieces any size you like. The most important thing to remember is that you will need 6 pieces at the exact same size to make your glue up easy. I cut 18 pieces at 200mm and then I could move to the glue up. There are a number of ways you can do the glue up here. I went with the tape method. I laid my pieces face down and applied tape to the back of each piece. Once I had all six, I could turn them over and start to lay glue down. Then it's just a matter of pulling it all together to make a hexagon. I repeated this three times and then I could move on. Hexagons are currently drying, so while they're doing their thing, we are going to work on the shelf bit that's going to hold the planter. I'm going to cut my 30 degree angle on one side, and then I'll take it over to the planter, mark it with a pencil, and slowly but surely sneak up on the cut. That is the best way to make sure that you've got the perfect fit, so let's go and get them fitted. My next step was to cut a circle out of the middle for the pot. I used a piece of timber to mark the centre and used a hole saw to cut the hole out for the pot. I don't know about you, but quite frankly, I think hole saws suck. I am not a fan and it is my least favourite tool in the shop. You need to make sure that you have a firm grip on the drill as the hole saw has a tendency to grab and you don't want to hurt yourself. To avoid tear out, I drill halfway through and then flip the piece over and finish the cut. This should leave you with a clean circle. I used a round over bit in my router and rounded over all of the edges to make them smooth and an easy fit for the pot. It was then time to remove the tape and sand and paint. If you have any gaps from the glue up, this is also the time to fill them in with wood putty. As always, you can finish the planter any way you like. I decided to paint the outside white and the inside grey as this will match the colour scheme in my house and I also thought it would make the greens in the plants pop against the grey. At the beginning of this video I wasn't sure how I was going to finish the pots, but I decided to keep it simple and paint them white. I applied undercoat and two top coats for each colour. I didn't paint the bottom of the hexagons because I wanted good adhesion when gluing. Once all the paint had dried, I glued the shelves into place and the three hexagons together. It was then time to get my green thumb on and pop my plants. I'm using indoor plants purchased from Ikea of all places. I find them easy to keep alive because I am not a great gardener and they are the perfect size for the pots. With my plants planted I could call this project done, sit back and enjoy the fruits of my labour. 
I hope you have enjoyed this project. And if you have, be sure to help me out by hitting those subscribe and like buttons down below. And I'll see you on the next one.